In this video, we'll cover the basics of using the ocean optics spectrometer independently for absolute irradiance measurements. The data will be stored on an SD card, and we'll also analyze the data using SpectraSuite software in part two. Absolute irradiance allows you to measure optical power and determine color coordinates of emissive devices such as LEDs, light sources, plasma, and more. For performing absolute irradiance measurements with JAZZ, you'll need the following. A radiometrically calibrated JAZZ. An SD card with JAZZ A ARAD. This contains the radiometric calibration file and a configuration file. An emissive light source that you wish to measure. A black cloth for storing dark. And if you are measuring ambient lighting and have a JAZZ mount adapter, you may want to use a tripod. Finally, if you're measuring photometry, you'll need to calculate steradians, so an optical breadboard or precise measurement tool will be necessary. Depending on how your jazz is optically configured and the equipment you are using with it, this will determine its sensitivity and performance. We'll demonstrate by using a one-channel jazz that is radiometrically calibrated with a direct attach cosine corrector. This jazz has a reverse keypad orientation and a jazz mount tripod adapter to make it convenient to measure solar irradiance or ambient light measurements. Before starting your measurements, you should place the jazz in a steady position and in the proper optomechanical alignment for your application. You'll need the unit to be powered at all times while taking measurements and storing data. It's important to note that without the Jazz A Arad SD card inserted into the Jazz Bench, the spectrometer will start up with the default menu measurement wizards. While the Jazz is turned off, insert the Jazz A Arad SD card into any one of the Jazz SD card slots. Now power on your Jazz spectrometer by pressing the red power button. After the initial start screen, Jazz will indicate that it is loading the calibration file into memory. Let your Jazz warm up for at least 20 minutes before use to ensure good measurements. Once finished, it will display the Adapt to Light startup screen. For proper measurements, it's important to adapt the Jazz to your light source and to take a dark measurement before saving any data. Point the probe at your light source and press the triangular key for the Adapt to Light selection. This starts the optimization procedure to adjust your jazz to the appropriate lighting conditions. When your jazz has enough light, you'll see a screen temporarily appear that indicates that it's adapting to the conditions and will list an integration time. Once jazz has finished optimizing the integration time for the measurement conditions, this screen appears. Now we'll store a dark reference with this integration time. To do this, we'll cover the collection area with a dark cloth to block all light and press the pound key for the dark selection. Once Jazz has stored the dark, you'll see this screen. Jazz has now been optimized to take absolute irradiance measurements for these lighting conditions. And now we're ready to take measurements. Note that whenever you press the triangular key to adapt to light, the Jazz will reset the integration time to new conditions, and a new dark reference must be stored again. Now press the circular or down arrow key for the graph selection to start measuring your light source. You will see an absolute irradiance graph appear in the Jazz window. Be sure to monitor the yellow status bar at the bottom of the screen for important messages. For example, if the status bar indicates saturated, the light intensity entering the spectrometer is too high. If you save data while the measurement is saturated, the outcome will not be correct. The spectrum shape will be affected as will the calculated power values. Press the home button to return to the main absolute irradiance menu. From there, you can select the star key for the analyzed data selection to view lumens, lux, par, or watts so that you can note those values. You will later be able to bring these values up in the photometry post-processing mode in SpectraSuite. Press the yellow floppy disk button 
to save at any time while viewing the Absolute Irradiance graph and to store data on the SD card. A file will be created with a file name based on your settings inside the config.txt file. It takes a few moments to save. You'll know that your file is saved when you see the message appear in the yellow bar reading Saved Output File with a number .jazz -erad file. This number is the file name. Be sure to take note of this and order of samples measured along with the file numbers. This numbered file is saved with a Jazz Erad extension for further use and post-processing analysis in SpectraSuite software. With SpectraSuite, you can calculate power parameters such as watt or total photons. You can also calculate photometry parameters such as lumen, lux, and par. Additionally, you can derive color parameters such as CIE values, CRI values, XYZ, and more. Be sure to see the SpectraSuite installation and operation manual for more information about these parameters. Do not eject the SD card without going through the Safely Remove Card procedure. Otherwise, there is a possibility that your files may be lost or corrupted. Always follow these steps to ensure safe removal of the SD card. Press the X button until you're back at the Jazz main menu. When File System is highlighted, press the green check button on the panel once again. Now press the Pound button to accept the command to release SD cards. It is now safe to remove all SD cards. Now you can remove your cards and power down. To analyze your data in SpectraSuite software, please see the Post-Processing Jazz Absolute Irradiance video at Spectroscopy TV. And for more information, visit us online at OceanOptics.com.